Out of all the backpacks in the Able Carry lineup, the Daily Plus and the Max EDC are the two that make the most interesting comparison. But why? Well, you can see that they really aren't that much different in size. And they share a lot of the same pockets and features. Yet when it comes to how they handle your everyday carry, they are two worlds apart. And that's where things get interesting. So which one's really the better pick? Let's dive in, starting with the size and comfort features. Here is how these bags look on someone who is 5'6". You can see that the Max EDC is just a little bit larger, especially with the width. The Max EDC is wider. But they do share a lot of the same comfort features. Both bags have those signature able carry cushioned shoulder straps that feel like pillows. Seriously, look at how thick the padding is. And both are going to have an adjustable and removable magnetic chest strap. But here are where both backpacks start to show some personality. The Daily Plus has this amazing cushioned back panel with these deep air channels that are way better for breathability, especially in hot weather. The Max EDC only has two padded panels. The reason for this is because they needed to make room for the luggage sleeve. And this ability to attach the bag to luggage is going to be missing on the Daily Plus. Oh, and check out this sneaky little feature. The Max EDC has a hidden pass-through for an optional hip belt that you can add later. And this feature is missing on the Daily Plus. Speaking of fun surprises, there's a ton of them in the pockets. Now, these backpacks do share a lot in common. Like this almost hidden security pocket on the top of the back panel that can easily fit a passport, wallet, or a phone. And on the side, you have an internal water bottle pocket. Able Carry says you can fit up to a 32 ounce or one liter bottle, but we found that you can actually fit up to a 40 ounce hydro flask bottle in both. So that's good to know. But here is where the Max EDC wins a big point. It has another pocket on the other side of the bag, just big enough for a travel umbrella. And if you look really closely, you'll notice a little red lash point. So let's explain this because it's pretty cool. With each backpack, Able Carry includes a detachable key leash so that you can decide where to keep your keys. And this pocket is one of those spots in the Max EDC. Now, this extra external pocket is great, but it's not until we get to the front compartments where we start to see differences that really matter. You see, the front compartment on the Daily Plus was made to open on its side. You swing the bag around and grab what you need. Inside here, you get a stretch pocket that could fit sunglasses, a zipper pocket to keep items secure, and tucked away all the way up top is the lash point for your key leash. The front compartment on the Max EDC is completely different. It opens like a duffel bag, and it's not going to have the same organization inside either, with just a zipper pocket that can fit something like a sunglasses case. But you do get another lash point for your keys, so that's good. Now the duffel style pocket is definitely the most interesting feature of the Max EDC, because you can fit bulky items in here, like a pair of shoes or a change of clothes. And that's not possible with the front compartment on the Daily Plus, it's just not big enough. And this difference in packing space is going to be a reoccurring theme. But before we get into what fits inside the main compartment, we have to cover the laptop storage. Now, there are two important differences here. The first is that the Daily Plus has a 16-inch laptop sleeve in the main compartment, while the Max CDC has a 17-inch separate laptop compartment in the back. The second difference is accessory storage. The Max EDC has this extra accessory compartment inside the laptop compartment, and it fits a laptop charger and other small tech accessories. However, the Daily Plus has what we like to call a tech station. Right below the laptop sleeve is another sleeve for a tablet, and under that, another pocket for accessories. You also get slots for pens and an Apple Pencil. So now you have all of your tech and accessories in one single organized spot versus the Max EDC, which doesn't have those pockets for a tablet or pens. The good news is that both laptop sleeves do have false bottoms, so those laptops are suspended above the ground and offered really good protection. Okay, so what can you actually fit in these bags? You get 21 liters for the Daily Plus and 26 liters for the Max EDC, but pay attention to this. Notice how the Daily Plus is more teardrop shaped, while the Max EDC is more square. This is what's going to affect your packing the most. You'll be able to pack more notebooks and books for school in the Max EDC. 
Packing for the gym is also much easier on the Max EDC. Here is a 12-inch foam roller and a change of clothes. But where the Max EDC really shines is with travel packing. It can easily fit packing cubes for a weekend trip. But it's important to understand that the internal space inside these bags starts to shrink when you fill the pockets. You only get a single zippered pocket on the Daily Plus, but the Max EDC gives you two. And since we don't have that tech station in here, the Max EDC offers a single stretchy pocket and a slip pocket on the side that's missing on the Daily Plus. Now let's fill in those water bottle pockets and notice how there is a lot less space left over inside the Daily Plus. And here is the biggest difference between these two backpacks. The Daily Plus just wasn't designed to fit many big bulky items. So how do you choose between these two backpacks? If all you have to carry is your tech and smaller personal items, the Able Carry Daily Plus is perfect. The best way to think of this backpack is simplified fast access. Meaning you have less compartments but everything you need is right there and ready to go which is exactly what you want in an everyday carry backpack. On the other hand, the Max EDC is more of a hybrid, everyday, and travel backpack. This wasn't mentioned before, but it does have lockable zippers. And when you add that luggage sleeve and a larger main compartment, it turns into a great small travel bag. It also makes a better everyday bag if you carry lots of bulkier items. Think of packing for workouts or even a camera cube and accessories. Packing larger items is definitely where the Max EDC shines. And that wraps it up. If you're interested in a comparison video of any other two Able Carry bags, let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like. And as always, thank you so much for watching.